What is the difference between a first clean versus a deep clean? Ooh, this is a great question. I love this question. All right, we're gonna answer it today. Hi there, I'm Angela Brown, and this is Ask a House Cleaner. This is a show where you get to ask a house cleaning question, and I get to help you find an answer. You are in the right place. I know, super exciting. So today, we have a house cleaner that called into the show, and she asked this question. Hi, Angela, I have a question for you. What is the difference between a first clean and a deep clean. Thanks so much. Alrighty, I love this question. What is the difference between a first clean and a deep clean? All right, well, a deep clean is whatever you decide as a business owner you are going to do at a customer's house that is different, is different from your maintenance clean. Now, at Savvy Cleaner, we have two programs that I recommend. One is called Maintenance Clean versus Deep Cleaning and we walk you through literally room by room of a house, and we say, here's what we do on a deep clean, here's what we do on a maintenance clean, okay? So check it out, SavvyCleaner.com. The next program is called How to Ace a Walkthrough. And on the How to Ace a Walkthrough, we show you a variety of different special projects at different places in the customer's homes that you can put together as part of a package. All right, now, you decide with the customer what the customer's priorities are, what they want done in their house, because some people will say, we never use our guest rooms, don't bother going in there. They don't want to spend their house cleaning money to clean rooms that they never use, right? So customers' priorities are different. Now, once you have decided with the customer what their priorities are, and you've put together a package that is specific to them so that you know what the maintenance and the deep clean is, what we do is we have at Savvy Cleaner a checklist. And you can download the checklist. I will leave links in the show notes. It's absolutely free of charge. And for the worksheets, what I recommend is that you tweak them and make them your own, okay? So they are editable. You can add in your own information and just use this. We've been using this for almost 30 years and it works like a charm. That's why we keep using it. All right, so this checklist is a maintenance clean checklist. The reason that I love this checklist is because it sets the expectations of what we will deliver on the first clean. Now, I like the first clean to be a maintenance clean, not a deep clean, for this reason. When I come to your house and it's the first time I've ever been to your house, I don't know your house very well. I don't know where all the little nooks and crannies are. I don't know how you store your things. There are going to be a few things that as I move them to vacuum or dust, I'm going to go, oh, this is a hot pocket that collects extra dust. I need to pay extra special attention to this. Or you're going to find that you get through parts of the house maybe quicker than you anticipated. There are parts of the house that are going to take you longer. So the maintenance clean, which is going to be the first clean that you do, is going to kind of introduce you to the house. And there are a lot of house cleaning companies that get this totally backward. They do the deep clean on the first clean. Here's the problem with the deep clean. On the deep clean, you're going through the house and you're doing a lot of extras that are not part of the maintenance clean. Therefore, you're changing the expectations of the customer. You're saying, here's what we do when we come to clean. And then the next time you come back and you do the regular maintenance clean, which is significantly different than a deep clean, What happens is the customer is like, oh, they didn't do like half the stuff they did last time. And then they get a little bit disillusioned by you coming because you did such a great job your first time. And then the second time you came, it was very different. And so now they're confused as to what it is you offer. It's like if you watch an action packed movie and the opening sequence is the super amazing car chase and you get all wrapped up in the car chase. Where does the rest of the movie go from there, right? There's this huge letdown for the rest of the movie where the little super will say six weeks earlier. And now you got to watch the whole backstory to find out what happens to get to the car chase, right? I would rather wait all the way through and watch the story and build up and learn all the stuff along the way and then watch the car chase, right? But if you start out with that, where do you go from there? So my point is with the deep clean, there's a lot of stuff you're going to miss if it's your first time. Because like I just said a second ago, There's a lot of stuff that you don't know about the house. There are nuances. There are things about the way the customer lives that you don't know yet, and you will learn it as you go. So my recommendation would be come in and just do a maintenance clean your first time with the understanding that we are going to get as close to this as possible so that you know what to expect every time I come. The deep clean we're going to schedule for two weeks away or a week away, whenever it is on a different day. That way I can come in and as I do the first maintenance clean, I'm going to see some things that go, that needs to go on the maintenance, on the, on the deep clean. Or I'm going to see some things that say, oh, you know what? I forgot to bid this as part of the regular maintenance clean. We need to add this on here because this really should be done every single time based on the way this customer lives. Now, the problem that we run into a lot is that our house cleaners that will go on a walkthrough and they bid the job 
Then they come back and they say, I have grossly underbid. And they're all alarmed because there are things that the customer needs and they want to provide that for the customer, but they didn't bid it into the job and they don't have the resources for the extra half hour it's going to take to do that. And so it would be lovely if you just did a maintenance clean. So let's see how close we can come to this. Then when we do your deep clean, we'll try to fill in the gaps of all the stuff that we missed and we'll get that all taken care of so we can maintain it from here on out. But it's going to introduce you to the house and it's just going to give you a really good feel for what kind of time it's going to take you to walk through the house, you doing the maintenance clean on a regular basis. It's all also going to set very crystal clear expectations from the customer about what to expect from you every single time you come. Understanding that the deep clean you're going to do a week or two weeks later is completely different and is going to hit a bunch of different areas that your maintenance clean does not ever cover. Okay. So there, there are very specific reasons why we do it this way. Anyway, I'm super excited that you asked this question because it shows me that you are really concerned about maximizing the profits in your business and helping your customer in the way that serves them best. So hats off to you. If you have questions, leave them in the comments below. If you have not subscribed, subscribe because we're here five days a week. When you come back, we will be in your feed to answer your questions. And until then, leave the world a cleaner place than when you found it.